How do you make the service desk more efficient? This is a question that uh, we've been working on at Nexting for years, because it's such an important problem, but also an area in which we believe there is a lot of margin for improvement. This is why last year we launched Nexting Amplify. And today I'm joined by Mario Tagallo to talk a little bit about this incredible product. So Mario, tell me, from the beginning, how did it all start? Every great product starts from a problem to solve, right? A pain that we want to address. And for Amplify, uh, we know that the service desk agents have quite a few problems to solve in terms of how can they address this end user's problems and tickets in a timely manner, right? So what we wanted to do is to deeply understand uh, this pain. The best way to do that is to spend time with the users, right? And we spent quite a lot of time with service desk teams, but not just, you know, interviewing and talking to them, but really shadowing their own activities, their own daily routines. So we sat down with them, they gave us their headsets and we were listening to the calls they were receiving from the end agents. Oftentimes the service desk agents, they need to ask simple information such as uh, fetching the department of the end user or what type of uh, operating system, any set of information that required time. So Mario, how is Amplify so special? Uh, how is it so powerful in increasing the efficiency of the service desk? The great thing of Amplify is that it provides contextual NextPink intelligence and actionable intelligence directly within the web tool that the service desk is using. We provide the agent with a variety of information specific for the device and the user. Let's imagine maybe the device has a very low amount of disk space, right? They would be able to fetch this information in a matter of seconds. And in a completely asynchronous way, they can even execute a remediation. So no more need to, you know, agree with the user on a date and time to schedule a remote desktop connection and so on and so forth. You have a library of actions that you can execute remotely and basically hit the button and you execute it.